today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Baby Bird by one of my favorite bands, Whores. Jared and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Let's get right into this one. We are in drop C tuning, so grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's riff number one, nice and slow. Everything is happening all on the low string. It sounds like we're sliding out from the 14th fret and we're sliding down to the to the fifth fret. So it goes. From here, we go to the second fret. We're gonna play that three times. Then we do an open string. So we repeat this idea, this five, two, two, two open a few times. So here's what we have so far. From there, we're going to slide up to the 8th fret, and the riff starts over with that slide out from the 14th fret. Nice and slow. Sounds like we go down to the seventh fret just for the last eighth note of the measure and then back up to the eighth fret. Uh, we play the eighth fret, looks like five times, and then down to the fifth fret for three times. So here's what we got so far. One more time. Next part of the riff starts on the off beat. We're gonna play the eighth fret four times and then go down to the fifth fret, playing it twice this time. Here's what we've got so far. Repeats that a couple of times. From here, we stick with the same rhythm. This time we're gonna slide up to the 11th fret and go back to the 8th fret. So it's Key difference between the first two parts is in between. So when we go down to this 8th fret, instead of resting, we're gonna let, it, let the note ring out. So it's... Riff 
finishes, 11th fret, and we basically we walk up 12, 14, so it goes. Then we hit the second fret and let it ring out a few measures. Here's the full riff up to speed. Riff number three, nice and slow. So we we repeat this. This is so great. Nice little breakdown in the middle of the song. Uh, starts on the second fret, it goes twice, then it's open to two. We play that a few times, a bunch, before the verse starts. The last measure of the verse cuts short a little bit, so it's like. So we get, it gives this nice little like breath in the middle of this thing. Uh, really cool part of the song. Here's the very last part of the riff, just gets slightly busier, still sticking with that open and two kind of theme here it goes. So that's two, two, open, open, two, two, and then open and let it ring. All together. Really cool section of the song. Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all of these videos and all these tabs happen. Thank you so much. Here's riff number four, nice and slow. out of nowhere this part is awesome starts on the 12th fret so it starts 12th fret goes 12 open 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 then it goes open 12 open 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 so far then it goes open 12 open 13 with a little bend Then we repeat the first part of the riff. This time, instead of bending the 13th fret, we hit the 14th fret and just slide out. Here it is, full speed. Such a cool part of the song. So let's check out the last part of the song at full speed. But before we do, thanks for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This way, YouTube shows this thing to more fans of the band whores just like we are.